I guess that's a, a desperately disappointing way to exit this year's FA Cup. It is, it is. Um, full credit to, to Hartlepool. Um, in terms of that, that game tonight, um, they came out on top on too many occasions. Um, not in all aspects of the play, but in, in too many for us to gain any control in that football game. Um, only occasionally did we look like we could get the ball where we wanted it and use it. Um, and we didn't work their goalkeeper enough and they've scored one very good goal. Um, it was always going to be tight and the fine margins and it's, it's come at a costly price because obviously we've lost um, players through injury and now suspension as well. Yeah, it was a disappointing night and only a to become the first host, Jack Sparks as well. But they're talking, it looked like maybe you had to make one or two changes that were maybe forced upon you as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, we had a couple of knocks going into the game and the ones who, who generally came off the pitch were struggling physically as well so that's where we are, it's not can't make any excuses about it, Hartlepool were exactly the same I'm sure, um, so we've, we've got no excuses in terms of that, um, no excuses in terms of the, the travelling, if, if anything we want to look back on in terms of a missed opportunity that was probably the, the, the first game when you turn up at home and um, you've got to see it out but that, that's the way football goes sometimes, like I said I just felt tonight we just didn't come out on top or Hartlepool came out on top too many occasions. In a way this gives you the opportunity to get back into the league actually I guess there'd be no better response than going and get a positive result at Salford on Saturday. Yeah, that's what we're aiming for, aiming for that in, in every game. We didn't even know how tough it was going to be here tonight. Um, like I say, it's a game where it's going to come down to a, a few moments of, of quality and their lad had the moment of quality, you know, he smashed it in the top corner and we were unable to do that when we did get a sight of the goal. So that's what it came down to tonight. I, the players have given me absolutely everything, the fans gave us absolutely everything tonight. Um, and it's been a, a bruising 120 minutes. Now we've got to dust ourselves down and go to Salford. You know, the, the Northampton game probably took a, a fair chunk out of us physically and mentally because that was a, a tough game against a top, top team at our, our own level. Now we've got to go again, go again and do the same against Salford. The four changes you made going into the game, were they forced or just a, a reflection on how many games you've well, played? Dino has played a lot of games recently. Randell had a knock from Saturday um, and I felt Lee's energy at the top end of the pitch might, might help us out. Nigel's coming, still coming back from the, the long-term injury. So in terms of those changes, one maybe one tactical, three more so in force, but then they came and played a part off the bench, you know, you're looking for those players to make a difference off the bench and look, there was two teams going at it all game, all night, um, no one giving a, an inch, giving a yard, um, I can moan about all aspects of, of football, but sometimes you've got to hold your hands up and say Hartley Bull certainly tonight deserved it. No, I know you're not one for making excuses, but how much did the conditions play a part tonight as well? Okay, same for both teams, same for both teams. Um, like I say, we didn't get enough clean ball. When we did get any clean ball, we didn't work their, their, their goalkeeper enough. Um, Johnny, I think, has made one save, their keeper maybe one or two saves, a, a pit of post. And their lads, like I say, put in the top corner. Sometimes that happens, they had that little bit of quality, and they're, they're a dangerous team because they've got goals in them. Um, we saw that in the first leg where the lads smashed one in from 25 yards, it wasn't too dissimilar in terms of falling to a player on the edge of the box and then putting it in the top corner. That's what you want all your players to do, um, but like I say, I'm, I'm not going to give my players too much stick on the back of they've given absolutely everything. They've really got to shake themselves down and get themselves ready for, for, Sunday, uh, for Saturday, because uh, that's another long trip and a, another tough test. How do you cope with these long trips? Well, you've got to use the squad, you know, we spoke about those changes tonight, you've got to use the squad as wisely as you possibly can. Um, pick the ones who are physically and, and mentally ready. Um, we had a, you know, some young players out there tonight who maybe found the intensity of, of some of those battles a little bit difficult at times, hence possibly why Jack got sent off and obviously I brought Jaden off and, and March, he didn't have his, his strongest game. We put a lot of emphasis on our young players, um, but sometimes you've got to really sort of toughen it up. The way, the way they'll do that is by gaining experiences like this. Um, but like I say, full credit to Hartlepool. Um, I know where we're at in terms of my group of players um, and I know where we are in terms of what we want to do within the league. We wanted to get as far as we possibly could in this cup competition so we're, we're, we're bitterly disappointed in terms of that but you can't change that now and we're not certainly going to make excuses in terms of conditions and travelling.